investing now is a financially tough time, which is why more and more people are looking for new ways to make money. We're here to help with what we're calling the rebound. WCPO 9 News reporter Ali Kramer is live to show us that we can all tackle a little spring cleaning and maybe even make a little money in the process. It's a great idea if you are low on cash and high on junk, Ali. Yeah, and I think right now is the perfect time, Tamika. I'm sort of all jazzed and geared up to go home and do a little bit of it today. And while the weather's crummy this weekend and you're stuck inside with your family, you might as well put them to work too because while you can sell some stuff to make a buck, uh, you might be able to find some stuff on maybe Facebook Marketplace that can save you some money as well. And uh, where in the world are you going to start? Well, Danielle Berger, a professional organizer with Simplify in Style right here in Cincinnati. She's been doing this for about five years. She has got us on the path to organization. These pictures show you just how great uh, some of her services are and the jobs that she's done. She says that what you need to do is start the purging process and do it by category. For example, pull out all of your coffee mugs or maybe all of your t-shirts and go through just those categories so that you don't get overwhelmed. But then how do you decide what to sell and what to just donate? Danielle says selling things is more time consuming, whereas donating can be the quickest way to just clear out the clutter if that's your ultimate goal. If you can't think about spring cleaning with your kids running around at home, Danielle says now is actually the perfect time to get them involved. Teaching kids this is really a life skill, so it's a great time to kind of teach them um, the purging process and how to deal with it. And for kids, I say start small, like use a timer or even give them a bin. Stuffed animals is a good example. So you might say like, okay, you can keep all the stuffed animals that fit in this bin. And then they go through and pick out their favorites and what's left you can donate. So kind of getting them involved in the process and teaching them along the way is a great time. Now, not all places are open for donations right now, but I know some Goodwill locations are open. They just have different donation days and hours, so be sure to check before you go. And Danielle also is offering virtual classes so that you can sort of tackle different areas. She has a special class just dedicated to like kids' toys in your playroom areas. So uh, that is something to certainly consider. We're putting it on WCPO.com right now. I also just shared it on my Facebook.